Hey coaches, my name is Curtis of Right Point Angel of Let's Play the Game and today we're going to look at a session where we are using the scissors skill and we're going to be also using awareness in a larger space and then we're going to reduce it to a small space. Now in this session what you will need, every player will need a ball and you're going to need a large space, a fairly large space um, you're going to have the players moving the ball amongst each other um, you're trying to look for different areas that they can manoeuvre and then execute their skill. This is a skill you want to make sure they perform it quickly. They're not too close to the actual defender when they're actually performing it and they're not too far away because this will allow the defender to actually read where they're likely to go. So they've got to get the distance just right as they're performing the skill. Now also another problem when they're using this as a skill is that they're try and make sure they go the right way around the ball. What you tend to find with younger players, sometimes they go the opposite way, which ends up being more of a step over turn. So making sure that they go around the ball so the ball ends up in the middle and they can actually take the ball away with the other foot. Now for this practice, it's important that we encourage the players to use both feet. So we want them to try and be able to go either side with the skill. We don't want them to just be predominantly or using the one foot and we also want them to be aware of each other and the space that they can move into mm -hmm. we wanted to try and look for areas that they can attack and exploit quickly how we could encourage this as well we can also have the coach using um, a visual aid to get the players to spot what the coach is doing so it could be two different color cones and they could call out the cone that they see to get them playing with their eyes up as they're maneuvering around the space and executing their skills to progress this session, we should reduce the space to try and encourage the players to keep the ball close to their feet. And they will also have to think about when is the best opportunity to use this skill and whilst also keeping the ball close to their feet. Other variations we can include is we can take some balls away from some of the players so that the players who are on the ball have to defend against opposition. We can also um, make it more of a competition where we can see how many times they can execute their skill within a certain time frame. For example, either 30 seconds or maybe 60 seconds. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and share with any other coaches that you think might benefit from the video. Also, if you want to learn the methods that I use to help produce youth players, then you can get my free youth coaching guide by looking at the comment section below. I'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.